my fellow boys. It is the Turtle Gorge here. I am not in my uh, Turtle Cave. I'm not at home. I'm here in South Lamar, Austin, Texas at Fantastic Fest. But uh, there have been some trailers that dropped, and today dropped the trailer for Creed 2. Creed 2, I'm extremely excited for. You know, it's my most anticipated movie for the remainder of the year and how much I love that first film. So, uh, with no further ado, let's go ahead and get into this review. Alright? And here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> that was the disco door right here next to me. Oh man, that looked amazing. Um, what I'm loving about what I'm seeing uh, in this trailer is everything that Adonis is risking to take this fight. Um, he's risking his family, he's risking everyone that he loves. Uh, I, I don't, it, it's, it's, it just looks really, really profound to, to see his journey and what he's willing to sacrifice to take on this fight that he feels that he needs, this vindication, um, whether he's doing it for himself or for his father. But uh, the way that, that that trailer was constructed, I thought was just brilliant. Um, bringing in all the different facets that we saw from the previous Creed film, the relationship that he has with Sly, and the history of uh, Sly's uh, relationship with the Dragos, um, or with Ivan Drago, and you see that one shot when you see Sly and um, and and, uh, and and Drago. Um, Oh goodness, uh, Lundgren, Dolph Lundgren, I couldn't remember his name, where they kind of have that contact. But seeing all the training montages, and also going to a lot of the stuff I was saying about the director, Stephen Cable Jr., I just had a feeling that he was able to kind of follow in the footsteps that Ryan Coogler was doing in the first film. And I think aesthetically, the movie feels and looks like it's in line and in tone with the first film, and it's still going to bring the drama, the character, the characterizations that we love from that first film. Um, and going back to the relationships, like I said, with Tessa Thompson's character, with Bianca, where they are in their life right now, with her being pregnant, with her having a child, the relationship with Felicia Rashad, um, and, that, and, and how 
you can almost uh, like grieve with her the fact that she lost her husband to this family and now her son who she's raised and loved is uh, about to possibly I want to say face the same fate but um, is going to be in that same uh, situation so uh, there's a lot to really kind of wrap your wrap your wrap your head around but I, I feel I think now seeing the trailer for this and because on paper when you when you talked about bringing Ivan Drago into this story on paper it kind of could come off a bit corny especially going off of Rocky 4 because of how that movie is I mean that movie is like 80% montage but it but people love that film so going into this people were like eh, I don't know how I feel about that but I always had faith that the team behind the camera was really going to serve this per serve this story right and I think they're doing a really good job with that I gotta watch this trailer a couple more times but man it, it looks amazing um, yeah so those are my initial thoughts for the trailer for Creed 2 super super excited for this film I cannot wait Anyway, let me know what you thought of the trailer in the comments below. Go ahead, rate, like, subscribe, and share. And go ahead and check out my other dorks, at Mouth Dork, at The Disco Dork, and at Sidewalk Siren. And as for me, I am the Turtle Dork. This this fool right here, he's messed up my flow. <laughs> yeah, check me out, The Disco Dork. I do trailer reactions. Reactions. So I'll react to his trailer reactions. So oh, follow me God. if you want to see those. Anyway, fantastic, Fez. This is what we're dealing with. Anyway, I'm the Turtle Dork. And with that, your boy is out.